We're in Windows Server 2016. I'm going to show you how to create a C name or a canonical record. This is an alias record, which I'll show you what that means in just a second. So we're in our DNS, uh, I'm sorry, we're in our server manager in Windows Server 2016. We'll go to Tools and open up DNS. From here, we see our forward lookup zone. So let's just go ahead and pick any old zone. We'll pick the uh, Active Directory widget.internal. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this new C name type of record. So anywhere inside the zone, right click and choose new alias. Let's go ahead and choose that. So let's give the alias a name. Let's just actually call it alias. And we can see when we type that, we get alias.widget.internal. So after this uh, alias record is created, it's going to point back to our domain controller, which is DC2. Dot widget dot internal. All right, so let's go ahead and click OK, and there's our alias. All right, now let's go down to command prompt and see what we did. So if we ping DC2, hit enter, you can see that it gives us an IP version 6. That's OK. We'll just hit the up arrow and choose minus 4 to get TCP IP version 4. And we can see it's 15.239. All right, so now let's ping alias and see what address we get. So if we type ping alias dot widget dot internal, we hit enter. And once again, we get the IP version six. Let's hit the up arrow and do a minus four. And we can see, look at that, it converted everything to DC2. So we pinged alias, but we got DC2. So that's what an alias does. Now, when would you ever use an alias? So let me give you a good idea. So let's say that uh, two different companies merge together. You have A.com and B.com. So when people go to A.com, they're going to get a website. When people go to B.com, they get a different website. But now these companies are merged, and they want all of the traffic to go to A.com. Well, if people typed in b.com and b.com came up in the web browser, then that would be confusing because you want the name a.com to show up. So if you create a C name or alias record and people put in b.com, then it'll automatically translate to a.com in the website, which is what the new company wants to have happen. So that's one great way, and I've used that many times with many company takeovers and mergers, uh, to create a, an a, I'm sorry, a C name record, which is an, also known as an alias record. And that's how you do that in Windows Server 2016 DNS.